Okay, movies I'm watching. I'm trying to watch at least one or two movies when I can. Per, probably not per week, but as many as I can per week, maybe. Could be two, I don't know, but I'm watching Prom Night right now. I already watched Star Trek earlier on. It's so really good if some sons are younger. So it's interesting. Their sons, daughters, whatever. Descendants, them children. And this one, Prom Night. It's a region one. So that's what I watch mostly. I do have a player for Region 2 now, so I can watch Region 2 if I need to. And I try to get the original cover if I can. Sometimes I have to pay 20 bucks to 40 bucks to get it, but that's what I'll do. I'll get the original cover if I can. There are other variations of Promic covers, so you might remember it as a different cover, but I try to get what I can for myself. And yeah, I'm start, starting to watch Prom Night, but I'm pausing quite a bit. But I'm not stopping watching it, I'm just coming back into it when I can. It's very old, so it's about like a $40 movie, so... It's very odd, old, old, like 60s type music in it. But yeah, the movies I remember, I'm watching more and more now because they don't have them on Netflix, so I have to get them myself. And I'm starting to watch the newer Star Trek ones, which, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting, the younger, the younger generation of it. People you know and you to watch on TV, so. Interesting they did that. So those are the two movies I'm watching of recent and every now and then I'll do this for you guys what I'm watching when I'm picking from my collection what I'm going to watch. Whether it's a TV show or a movie and hopefully thrifting will open up. Pick up some more good stuff next month because I don't want to be spending 50 bucks, 60 bucks online all the time for games. It's very expensive that way. You can only buy two or three things and then you're broke. So I'm still on a budget, so gotta work within my budget. Whether you're watching the VHS or Blu-ray, let me know. I mostly tend to watch DVD, but I might get back into VHS even. So I'll have to see what they have available for VHS. So and see if you get a good VHS player hooked up. I'm, I'm not getting into Blu-ray too much. I might buy it once in a while if something special comes along and I have to get it on Blu-ray. I absolutely cannot find it on VHS or DVD then I'll do that. But it costs money so new formats cost money and I, I don't want to go into new formats too much. So, yeah, either I'm going to be playing games, so I can show you what games I'm playing, or what games I have, so thanks for watching. Hopefully get a few more things next month, if 13 opens up, I could get a few more things, but if it doesn't, then I've, I'm going to wait, I'm not going to spend the money online, because it's right now too much online, so things are getting pretty expensive. I could just buy one or two things and then the money's gone. Locally I could buy like five, six, seven things and I won't get what I want but I'll get a variety of things. So usually I don't see horror too often so I have to end up buying this online. I end up paying like 40 bucks, something is more. Usually the common movies I find locally a lot. So how things are. Thanks for watching. I don't buy downloads so I think that's kind of stupid and a waste of money buying downloads and stuff like that. You don't have any in your hand. I'd rather have 
my hand and hold it, open it. Look at it. Take the movie out. Granted, the discs they can get scratched and ruined, but if you take care of them, then you'll have something for a long time. Thanks for watching. Where am I watching? Watching these two so far. From Meg, I'm kind of pausing, starting, pausing, starting, but I'm watching it. I watched Star Trek mostly through. Uh, I'll probably watch Star Trek again eventually, so it's a good movie.